morning, good morning everybody. Hallelujah. Our God is great. <laughs> this is fantastic. I have soldiers here. Welcome to our third installment. Hallelujah. God is with us. God is with us. Hallelujah. Janice, well done, well done, well done, my darling. Justina, I see you, Shawnee. Annie John Chidi, fantastic. Without further ado, just begin to drink the blood of Jesus. Begin to drink the blood of Jesus. Begin to drink the blood of Jesus. As we begin to calibrate for the third version, begin to dr drink the blood of Jesus on the double. Drink the blood of Jesus. Cover yourself with the blood of Jesus. Drink the blood of Jesus. Hide in the blood of Jesus. Hallelujah. As we now enter the third installment, the third installment is just simply, I take authority. You know, there are many ways of taking authority. Authority with the blood of Jesus. Authority by the name of Jesus. Authority through the fire of the Holy Ghost. Authority, authority, authority. Without authority, power is useless. Without authority, power is useless. You may have power, but without the necessary authority to wield that power, you become a minister without portfolio. We are going to take authority tonight. We're going to take authority for the whole sessions. And um, they, say you, they say you start as you mean to go along. This session tonight, this session, this third session, will contribute its own quota to the battle that we are fighting. Hallelujah. There are many reasons a lot of us are here. And by the way, if you've not written your, 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 your main prayer, what it is you want God to do for you, the reason why you're here today, the reason for almost every prayer point that you're going to raise, write it, scribble it down on a piece of paper somewhere and write a date alongside that piece of paper. What's going to happen is that you are going to use that piece of paper as a reminder before God from time to time. Hallelujah. Now, a lot of Christians, just simply because when, when they deal with heavenly matters, they don't treat it, you know, as serious as they do physical matters. A lot of us, when we undertake contracts, you know, we make sure that the contracts are signed, written in black and white, and the contract, everyone's aware of it. But in the spiritual, little people, people allow little loopholes to become their failings. Tonight, that's not our portion in the name of Jesus. We are going to take authority. In the name of Jesus, take authority. By the blood of Jesus, take authority. By the fire of the Holy Ghost. And also on a little piece of paper, right? Make a note of it. Make a note of it. So that heaven records it, earth records it. It stands as a witness. In your favor not it doesn't stand against you but it speaks for you that is the point of your contact to God hallelujah because you know what you, you, you know you're not going to die like this you know that you have prayed all types of prayers previously some people here have done what they call Esther fasting some people have done what they call white fasting some people have done what they call um, uh, power must change hands uh, fasting which is when they fast for three days when they fast from Thursday to a certain Saturday, which is something that tends to happen in Mountain of Fire Miracle Ministries. So there are very many reasons why, you know, people would have at one point or time in their lives undertaken fasting. I don't know your reason for undertaking this fasting today, but I join my faith to your own. And I declare that as it is on earth, so will it be in heaven. As you are decreeing on earth, so will it decree in heaven. Hallelujah. For the next few minutes, just can begin to give God glory, begin to give God praise. Celebrate Jesus, celebrate Jesus, celebrate Jesus. Give him lordship over your life, lordship over your situation. Hand tonight's session to him in the name of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Ghost. Hand tonight's session to him. Come on. Hand tonight's session to him, my brothers and my sisters. Say, my father, I entrust proceedings. Oh, hand this morning's um, session to him. It's now 6 a.m., just gone 6 a.m. in the UK. So we are coming to the morning now. We are going to use a number of weapons of warfare. We're going to use the blood of Jesus. We're going to use the name of Jesus. We are going to use the fire of the Holy Ghost. We are going to use all three to secure our authority. Hallelujah. Say, I take authority over this hour of prayer. I take authority over this hour of prayer. 
with the blood of Jesus, I take authority over this hour of prayer. I take authority over this place of prayer. I take authority over the locale of my prayer. I take authority. I take authority. Prophet, I see you. Good morning, sir. I take authority in the name of Jesus. I storm the camp of darkness. Come on and I take authority. Say, my father, my father, I entrust this proceeding into your hands. I trust you with this session. I trust you to do your best for me, O oh God. I trust you to be able to wield your sword on my behalf, O oh God. I am trusting you with this session, Father, take control. I am trusting you with this session, Father, take control. I am trusting you with this session, Father, take control. Hand this session over to God. You cannot hand it over to man. You cannot hand this session over to the powers of your Father's house. Begin to say, Lord Jesus, I declare your Lordship over this hour. I take authority of the heavens with the blood of Jesus. I take authority of this hour with the blood of Jesus. I take authority of the earth with the blood of Jesus. I take authority of the heavenlies with the blood of Jesus. I take authority in the name of Jesus. I take authority in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray that prayer. Let all of heaven know, let all of earth know that you have handed over the authority of this session to God. Hallelujah. Let them know you have handed this session over to God. Hallelujah. Any devil on standby that wants to take you by surprise, let them know through this prayer that you have entrusted God with this session. I take authority over this prayer. I take authority over this installment. I take authority over this hour of prayer. I take authority over this, over this move of prayer. In the name of Jesus, say blood of Jesus. Enter the session. Say I cover myself with the blood of Jesus. I cover myself with the blood of Jesus. By now, some of you are already having dreams. By now, some of you have had some trances. By now, some of you have had the word of the God dropped into your mind's eye as an inspiration. Now declare and decree. Say, every word, vision, and dream that did not originate from the Holy Spirit, I render you null and void. Whatever dream, whatever thought, whatever inspiration did not originate from the Holy Spirit, say, in the name of Jesus, I render you null and void. I render you null and void. I render you know that God is already speaking. God is already speaking. He's already letting me know how to refine the sessions. He's already including more prayer points for me to be able to use for today. When God speaks, he wants to give you information. He wants to show you that he loves you. When God speaks, he wants to prosper you, to deliver you from a problem. God may also want to speak to you to issue a punishment. Let that not be our portion that the only time God speaks to us is to exact punishment. Our God is not a wicked God. He's a great God. Our God speaks to us to reveal the past to us. Our God speaks to us to reveal the present to us. Our God speaks to us to approve certain things. Our God speaks to us to bless us. Say, Father, by your utterances, by, by your messages to me in this watches. Say, Father, bless me. Bless me indeed. Bless me indeed. Bless me indeed. Bless me indeed. God can also speak to somebody to curse them. He spoke to Saul in 2 Samuel 12, 7 to 11 to curse him when he had gone to the way too much from the way of the Lord. When the seeking out, when greed and seeking out the wrong type of God became his order of day, God cursed him. God can speak to you to provide your needs. Hallelujah. As I speak to you, may God drop into your spirit what it is you need to do to be able to be wealthier, healthier, and more prosperous in Jesus' name. May he drop into your spirits what you need to do to be able to win souls in a new way, in a much more creative way, in a way that is different from business as usual. Hallelujah. God speaks to you to heal you. I am the Lord that healed thee. Your God speaks to you to have a covenant with you. As he spoke to Abraham, Genesis 15, 18. God speaks to you in Asin 4, 18. Luke 4, 18. To be able to anoint you. God speaks to you after the order of Acts 9, 4 to 6. To bring you from darkness into light. When you hear from God, there's joy in your heart. When you hear from God, you know you're a special person. Your life is organized. Your prosperity is guaranteed. You will know the secrets of God and the spirit of man. You become spiritually sound. You have peace of mind, respect from your peers and people. Hallelujah. God can speak to you because as you go through these sessions, he begins to drop scripture into your spirit. Hallelujah. God can speak to you via the written word. As you search the scripture time and time again, you hear it is written. You hear in sp all scripture, according to 2 Timothy 3.16, all scripture is given by inspiration of God. Hallelujah. All scripture is given by the inspiration of God. 
all scripture and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof and correction and for instruction in righteousness. The Bible is the word and the voice of God. As we read it, God is talking to us. May God talk to you in a new way. May God talk to you in a more dynamic way. May God talk to you in a way that you've never experienced him talking to you before. May God talk to you through this message. May God talk to you through this teaching. The sermons of an anointed minister of, or teachings of an anointed teacher can convey the mind of God for you. Hallelujah. 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 Jumpy Bible verses. When you begin to think of certain scriptures and your mind goes back to it again and again, again and again, and again and again, God is talking to you. Say, Jehovah, speak to me. Say, tonight, speak to me. Say, this day, speak to me. Through the watches, speak to me, O God. I don't want this to be a vain exercise. Say, Father, speak to me. I don't want it to be a vain exercise. Speak to me. Hallelujah. The lifestyle of holy men speaks the voice of God. The life of Abraham prospered Lord. The life of Moses prospered Joshua. The life of Paul prospered Timothy. So when you walk with anointed men and women, God can begin to speak to you. Hallelujah. Now, human beings are not the only, are not the only entities who are capable of hearing the voice of God. God can speak to you from the ground. God can speak to, 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 to the animal. The snake in Genesis 13, 14 heard the voice of God. God can speak to trees. Mark 11, 20 to 22. The trees heard the voice of God. God can speak to you using the mountain. As in Matthew 21, 21. God can speak to you using food. God can speak to you using, the, in, you, you using cooking pot and oil bottle. As in 1 Kings 17, 14 to 16. He can speak to you through that thing in your hand. Hallelujah. Everybody now say, God, speak to me. Say, Father, I don't know how you're going to do it. I don't know what method you're going to use, but speak to me. I will not, I refuse to go. I, ref I refuse not to hear your voice. Father, speak to me. Say, God, I know you are there. You are not an abstract concept. Speak to me. As I follow the word of God and partake in this service, Father, speak to me. You know, the word of God, it says, came to Abraham. He came to Moses. He came to Joshua. He came to even Balaam, the fake prophet. He came to Samuel. The word of God will come to you today. The word of God will come to you. Say, God, speak to me. Say, Jehovah, speak to me. I don't know how you're going to do it, but speak to me. Some of you spend time running after all types of pastors, but you don't need to do that. When God speaks to you, he immediately puts the solution of your problem into your mind. Say, speak to me, oh God. Ah, Say, speak to me, oh God. Say, I do not know how you're going to do it, but Father, speak to me. You spoke to Elijah, speak to me. You spoke to Ezekiel, speak to me. You spoke to Solomon, 1 Kings 3, 5 to 6, speak to me. You spoke to uh, the young prophet, 1 Kings 13, 1, speak to me. Hallelujah. You spoke to Sergius Paulus, Father, speak to me. You spoke to the Thessalonians in 1 Thessalonians 2, 13, speak to me. You spoke to the whole world in Matthew 3, 17, speak to me. May you not hear false voices as you are waiting for God to speak to you. May the voice of temptation not be that which you hear. May the voice of self not be that which you hear. May the voice of an evil spirit confessing the truth not be that which you hear. In the book of Acts 16, 17, that young girl, she was operating with a familiar spirit and she was still saying the truth. She was saying of Apostle Paul, oh, this man is a man of God. He has brought the deliverance of God. The God is going to use him for signs and wonders. She was saying the truth, but the instrumentality she was using was a familiar spirit. May anybody, may nobody with familiar spirit lure you to listen to their own version of the truth in the name of Jesus. May voice of the false prophets and prophets that God did not send, may they not reach you in Jesus' name. As you undertake this exercise, it will not be a vain exercise. May the voice of commercial prophets or those hungry for gain not be the voice which you hear. May the voice of prophets who only speak what people want to hear not be, not be that which you hear. We are doing this. And look at the numbers. The numbers are not comparing to what we would normally do when we do Festival of Favor on Saturday. Am I bothered? No, I am not. Because the Spirit of the Living God is here and it's moving. The Spirit of the Living God is here and it's moving. I know that fellow sisters and brothers have joined me in this campaign. No familiar spirit will speak to you. No an spirit will speak to you. Nothing will come out of the grave to speak to you.
in the name of Jesus. It is only the voice of God that is authorized. Say every other voice that was, that wants to speak to me to confuse me in this hour. Say that voice I pause corn on you. I bind you. I say I bind the voice of Satan. Say it. Say I bind the voice of Satan. Say it. Say I bind the voice of Satan. I bind the voice of doubt. Some of you, you may already be speaking, the spirits are already speaking to you, making you doubt the veracity of this session, making you doubt the, the, the fact that this session will work for you. Don't be fooled, don't be deceived. No nemochromatic spirit, no familiar spirit, no voice of the dead, no voice of fake prophets, no voice of hungry prophets shall speak to you in the name of Jesus. Ah, the voice of the idols of your own heart will not speak to you in this in this watches. The voice, the evil voice of the evil cry of your father's house shall not speak to you in the name of Jesus. Say, Satan, I bind your voice. I bind the voice of Satan. I bind the voice of hell. I bind the voice of the children of the devil. Say, my father, my communication pipe with you is open. I scrub it with the blood of Jesus. Say, my father, download unto me the voice. Uh, download unto me instructions from the third heavens. Father, my pipe is available and I've scrubbed it with the blood of Jesus. Say my God and my Lord, download unto me. Download unto me. Don't allow familiar spirit to download unto me. Don't allow the voice of flatterers or soothsayers or hero worshippers be that which I hear. Hallelujah. Your voice will not be the voice of familiar Judas to Jesus. We spent quite a while this week trying to understand the ministry of Judas, the ministry of duplicity, the ministry of the greedy. The ministry of the envious, the ministry, ministry of the godless, the ministry of the damned, the ministry of the doomed. That shall not be your portion and nobody with any Judah spirit shall speak to you in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I want to, I want to, uh, my little Bible study, as is the case for all of this session, my initial Bible study now is about the Holy Spirit. I want to help you understand who the Holy Spirit is. You know, the heart of a Christian is the heart, is the home of the Holy Spirit. You know, Jesus Christ who came, came, lived amongst us, died, went back to heaven. When he departed, the Holy Spirit was imparted. The Holy Spirit was imparted. Say, welcome, Holy Spirit. Say, welcome, Holy Spirit, to this hour. Welcome, Holy Spirit, into this hour. In the name of Jesus, the human spirit fails unless the Holy Spirit fills it. Say, as I pray, I will not fail. My spirit, you will not fail because you are anchored into the Holy Spirit of God. Say, my spirit, you will not fail because you are anchored to the Spirit of God. You cannot drink of the Holy Spirit uh, 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 on, on Sunday and then other spirits on any other day of the week. It's the Holy Spirit all the way. Do not mix and math, match theology. Do not mix and match the Holy Spirit with the powers of your father's house or powers of your mother's house. Do not mix and match. The Holy Spirit is jealous. Do not mix and match. Nobody should be doing these sessions and calling an alpha in the morning. Nobody should be doing these sessions and calling a fake prophet with fake news and bankrupted ideas you know as to as, as to the kingdom of heaven no 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 that would not be your portion the holy spirit can do more in a minute than we can do in our lifetime some of you are here you are older than me some people are here they're in their 40s some people are here they're in their 50s some people are here they're in the 60s some people are here in their 70s we have the case of that woman who a few days ago said she was turning 60 years old so I know that I have people who are older than me here. I have people who are in their 20s here. I have people who are teenagers here. I have people who are new to the faith. I have people who have been born again for a long, long time. Well, my good news to you is this. No matter how long or short the work is with the Holy Spirit, He's with you today. The Holy Spirit is God at work. Say, Holy Spirit of God, walk inside of me. Holy Spirit of God, I hand this session over to you. Walk inside of me. Say, I take authority by the evidence of the Holy Spirit. I take authority over the waters by the, by the instrumentality of the Holy Spirit. I take authority of the land by the instrumentality of the Holy Spirit. I take authority over the second heavens by the instrumentality of the Holy Spirit. Say, I take authority in this hour of prayer by the instrumentality of the Holy Spirit. Ah, one taught by the Spirit knows the will of God. Say, Father, teach me. Say, Spirit of God, teach me. As I do go through these watches, teach me. Hey, without the Holy Spirit, the preacher is as helpless before a sinner needing a savior as Samson is before Delilah. My God, my God, let me repeat that. Without the Holy Spirit, the preacher is like Samson before Delilah, helpless 
out campaigned, out paced, out strategized. You will not be out strategized by the children of the devil in the name of Jesus. The Holy Spirit, who is the Holy Spirit? That is the bridge to God within you. It is the voice of God instilling into his children. The Holy Holy Spirit is the constant resource and companion. The Holy Spirit is God. Settle that. Whenever you talk to anybody and they want to start arguing the deity of the Holy Spirit, move away from there. They want to dilute your proposition before God and they want to cause you to sin. And that shall not be possible in Jesus' name. Say, I take authority by the instrumentality of the Holy Spirit. Say, I take authority by the instrumentality of the Holy Spirit. God bless all of you for joining me for your various countries. God bless you. I can see there are folks from Nigeria here. There are folks from Sweden here. Switzerland here. There are folks here from Dubai. There are folks here from UK, from England, from Spain. Hallelujah. The Holy Spirit, who is he? He is is God present with us and active amongst us. Hallelujah. He is God around us in everyday experiences. Hallelujah. The Holy Spirit is the Spirit of the Father. The Holy Spirit is the Spirit of my Lord Jesus Christ. Say, Holy Spirit, Spirit of the Father, I take authority by your instrumentality. Say, I take authority by the instrumentality of the Holy Spirit who is the, who is the Spirit of the Father. I take authority by the instrumentality of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is the Spirit of my Lord Jesus Christ. That's the ultimate. The Holy Spirit is the Spirit of my Lord Jesus Christ. Say, by the Spirit of my Lord Jesus Christ, I take authority. Say, by the Holy Ghost fire, I take authority. By the Spirit of God, I take authority. I am no longer afraid. I am no longer availed to shame and disgrace. Say, I take authority in the name of Jesus. I take authority by the power and the blood of Jesus. I take authority over this hour of prayer. I take authority over these eight watches. In the name of Jesus, the Holy Spirit is our teacher. He's the one that guides, he instructs ministers. Hallelujah. Every spiritual activity I'm undertaking here, spiritual, Holy Ghost is the one that has said, do it. He sanctifies us. He testifies of Christ. He is the spirit that glorifies Jesus Christ. He's the, he's the one that searches all things. He searches all truth. Say, Holy Spirit, take control. Holy Spirit, settle inside of me. You that entered into Elisha in the book of 2 Kings 2.15, enter into me. You that came upon David in 1 Samuel 16.13, come upon me. Say, Holy Ghost, come upon me. Come on. Holy Spirit, you are the one that came upon Jephthah in Judges. Come upon me. Holy Ghost divine, you are the one that came upon Moses in Numbers 11, 20, 11, 7. Say, come upon me. Come upon me, oh Holy Spirit, come upon me. Come upon me, sweet Holy Spirit, come upon me. Come upon me, sweet Holy Spirit, come upon me. Come upon me, sweet Holy Spirit, come upon me. In the name of Jesus, amen. Say, I take authority by the, uh, by the instrumentality of the Holy Spirit in this hour of prayer. I take authority by the instrumentality, by the instrumentality, by the instrumentality of the Holy Ghost. I also take, I I, I take authority by the blood of Jesus. I take authority by the blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus, let, 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 me, let, let me let you know some of the things that it can do. The blood of Jesus, you know, it remits sins. Hallelujah. The blood of Jesus gives life to those who consume it. The blood of Jesus causes us to dwell in Christ. As he is, so, we, so are we. The blood, of, the blood of Jesus is the means through which Jesus purchased the church. The blood of Jesus grants us forgiveness of sins. Now begin to say, Father, have mercy upon me for sins committed. Have, sin, have mercy upon me for sins committed. I don't take it for granted in my life. Wherever I've trampled upon the blood of Jesus, say, Holy Spirit, repair me. Wheresoever I've trampled upon the blood of Jesus, Holy Ghost, repair me. In the name of Jesus, begin to obtain eternal redemption through the blood of Jesus. I speak to you, begin to be sanctified by the blood of Jesus. Begin to be made complete for every given work. In the name of Jesus, it cleanses you from sin. Receive your cleansing. Receive your cleansing by the blood of Jesus. Receive your cleansing by the blood of Jesus. The Spirit of the living God brings peace and reconciliation to God. Say, I am reconciled to God the Father. I cannot fail. I am reconciled. Share the video. I am reconciled to the Spirit of my Lord Jesus. I am reconciled to God the Father. Hallelujah. It's not the age of killing partridges. This is not the age of killing goats and dogs and cats. Jesus showed us yesterday how he did it. He did it once and that's all it takes. Say, I take cover in the pool of the blood of Jesus. Ah, the blood of Jesus, you are the means by which Jesus washes. Therefore, I also, I use you to wash.
I also use you to wash. Spirit of the living God, it is through you that Jesus washed. I also wash my life and my destiny with the blood of Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen and amen. Let's now use the name of Jesus. The name of Jesus is one of the classified weapons of spiritual warfare. Say, Lord, Je say, Jesus Christ, Son of David, have mercy on me. At that prayer, we call it the blind Bartimaeus prayer. In the book, in the Bible, the last few um, days, you know, when Jesus, this triumphant entry into Jerusalem, before then he had healed blind Bartimaeus. Blind Bartimaeus was shouting, Jesus Christ, Son of David, have mercy upon me. That's why I like to start all the sessions with everybody having a personalized name for God. When you give him his covenant name, when you call him by a name, no other person calls him, he will stand at attention. That's why David was a man after God's heart. He said uh, he, he was a man after God's heart. Hallelujah. Begin at this hour to invite God into your battle. Begin to invite Yeshua and Mashiach into your battle. Begin to, all, uh, begin to invite Jehovah Kareb, Jehovah my sword, into this battle. Begin to invite the personality of the Godhead into this battle. Begin to invite God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Ghost into this battle. The name of Jesus, I usher you into this battle. The name that hands me victory, I usher you into this battle. Say, I take authority in the heavens, on earth, and in the waters by the blood of Jesus. Say, I take authority over triangular powers. With the name of Jesus, the name of Jesus, the name of Jesus, the name of Jesus. I take authority by the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I take authority by the name of Jesus. Come on. I take authority over principalities and power, over children of the wickedness, in spiritual wickedness in high places. I take authority. I take authority. I take authority. In the name of Jesus, I take authority. I take authority. I take authority by the blood of Jesus. Every strange ruler lurking in the shadows, lurking in places unseen, I take authority over you. You will not rule over me. You will not reign over me. Say with the blood of Jesus, I take authority. I take authority. Now let me read to you the book of Ecclesiastes 10. Ecclesiastes 10, it says, There is an evil which I have seen under the sun. As an error which proceeded from the ruler. Folly is set in great dignity and the rich sit in a lowly place. I have seen servants upon horses and princes walking as servants upon the earth. That shall not be your portion in Jesus' name. Say no servant will ride on my horse of destiny in Jesus' name. Say I take authority over the horse of my destiny with the name of Jesus. No servant shall ride on my horse of destiny. Say it. No servant shall ride on my, the horse of my destiny. Come on and say it. No servant shall ride on the horse of my destiny. Say it. There is an evil which I have seen. That's what, that, that's what Solomon is saying. As an error which proceeded from the ruler. So that evil is an error. The fact that who was supposed to be on a horse is now walking is an error. The fact that people who are supposed to be walking are now riding on riding the horses of children of God is an error. But it did interest interesting thing it says it proceeded from the ruler. This is Ecclesiastes 10:5. Say every error proceeding from every satanic ruler. Say by the name, in the name of Jesus, I bind you. Using the instrumentality of the blood of Jesus, I bind you. Every error which proceeded from the satanic ruler. Who is that ruler? The ruler is the strong man. Who is that ruler? The ruler is the iron monkey of your father's house. Who is that ruler? The ruler is that chief witch, that high chief, that chief wizard. Oh, in the name of Jesus, they will not, they will not gain say over you or I. Say every error that proceeded from the ruler. Say, I bind you in the name of Jesus. Say, I correct the errors of ancestral past with the name of Jesus. Jesus Christ has a name that has been given to him above every other name. That at the mention of the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow. All things that are in the heaven and things that are in the earth. Begin to open your mouth wide and God will fill it. Say, I do not permit any error in my life. Any error that proceeded from a satanic ruler. God can never proceed. An, an error cannot proceed from God. An error cannot proceed from God. Which is why in this 
scripture, there is clear evidence that an error proceeded from the devil. An error proceeded from the devil. An error proceeded from the devil. Open your mouth and declare that every every prayer originating from the devil, every word originating from the devil, I bind you, I bind you, I bind you. In the name of Jesus, I bind you with fires that cannot, I bind you with cords that cannot be broken. In the name of Jesus, every power introducing an error into my life, I bind you. Every error introduced into my life by that satanic worshiper, I bind you. Every error introduced into my life as a result of my destiny, say, I bind you. I bind the errors of my father's house, they will not hold sway over me. Open your mouth and declare, say, I bind the errors of my mother's house. Say, every error that proceeds from, from the powers of my father's house, ah, I scatter you. Every error that proceeds from the powers of my mother's house, I scatter you. Say, error that proceeds from that satanic ruler, you are not my portion. Say, in the name of Jesus, I cancel the error that proceeds from the satanic ruler. I cancel the error that proceeds from the second heavens. I cancel the errors that proceed from the tongues of men. Any power with sepulchral truth assigned against you, they scatter for your sake in Jesus' name. Say, my Father, my God, by the instrumentality of your word, I take authority over this hour of prayer. Over every ruler that, that error proceeds from concerning my life, I take authority. Say, I bind that strong man of failure in the name of Jesus with the name of Jesus. I bind that strong man of disgrace in the name of Jesus. Say, foolishness will not be set, will not be set in great dignity. Say, I will not sit in a low place. Say, because I will hear the voice of God on so many different matters in my life, I will not hear the voice of the initiates. I will not sit in a low place. Say, I will not sit in a low place. Say, as I undertake this watch, I will not sit in a low place. Say, my level must change. Say, God, I'm tired of being on the same level. Say, my Father, as soon as I undertake in completeness and in truthfulness, this, 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 this one day of deliverance watches, oh God. Say, my Father, my Father, say, as long as I partake, in this watch, it shall be well with me. Foolishness shall not be set in great dignity. The word of God shall come to you today. The rema of God shall come. Ah, the, no error shall proceed from the north, the south, the east, the west. In the name of Jesus, servants will not ride upon your head, the horse of destiny. Servants will not ride upon my horse of destiny. What I also like is um, Ecclesiastes 10, 8. It says, uh, he that diggeth a pit shall fall into it. And whoso breaketh a hedge, a serpent shall bite. Say, every power digging a pit for me to fall into, I push you into that pit. I push you into that. I take authority over any shenanigan of the devil. <clears throat> I take authority over any plan of the devil. I take authority over any wickedness of the devil. I take authority over the mind of Satan. Say, I take authority with the name of Jesus. I take authority with the name of Jesus. I take authority by the blood of Jesus. Say, as I go into this session, I take authority by the blood of Jesus. I take authority by the blood of Jesus. Say, Satan, you have no part in me. Say, Satan, I have no part in you. Holy Spirit, Spirit condemns you. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, as I enter into this installment, Father, deposit your power on me. Deposit your power. 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 In the name of Jesus, deposit your power. He kali kele lebosoto deposit your power, deposit your power, deposit your power, deposit your power, deposit what? What is power? Power is an interesting word. It's the ability to do something or act. What is power? Power is a capability of doing or accomplishing something. Power is a specific capacity. Begin to receive it in Jesus' name. Power is military force. Power is the ability to exercise self-control. Power, 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 power is applied force. Power is intensity. Power is potency, potential, competency, dynamism, and effectiveness. Say, Holy Ghost, download your power into me right now. Say, Holy Ghost, download your power into me right now. Holy Ghost, uh, download your power into me right now. Say, I am available, Spirit of the living God. I am available. 
Download inside of me strategies. Download inside of me ideas. Download inside of me. Download, oh God. Download, oh God. Download, oh God. Download, oh God. Download inside of me, Master. Download inside my spirit, man. Hallelujah. Give me a hundred ways to solve a problem that nobody else can solve. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name, amen. We are going to now take authority over every soul tie. A soul tie can bind you to the wrong connector source. A soul tie can bind you to the wrong... Oh, sorry. Before we get into soul tie, we are going to deal with the subject of the strong man. Say, I bind every strong man of mind destruction. I take authority over you in Jesus' name. I take authority over the strong man of mind destruction. I take authority by the blood of Jesus. I take authority by the blood of Jesus. Come on. Say, I take authority over the spirit of financial destruction in Jesus' name. You that power sponsoring catastrophic uh, and calamitous financial paralysis and failure, I curse you to die. In the life of that brother, I curse you to die. In the life of that sister, I curse you to die. Let God arise and let his enemies be scattered. Say you the strong man of bad luck attached to my life. I take authority over you, fall down and die. I take authority over you, fall down and die. I take authority over you, fall down and die. You the evil strong man attached to my destiny. Oh God, oh God, oh God. I command you to die in the name of Jesus. I command you to die in the name of Jesus. I bind every strong man. I take authority over every strong man. Militating against my home. Pray that prayer. I bind the authority of any, of, of any strong man. Attached to my destiny. Come on. In the name of Jesus. I say I take authority and I bind and paralyze. The gates. I, I bind and paralyze. The strong man of my father's house in Jesus' name. I bind them. Begin to bind the strong powers of your father's house. Begin to bind them. Begin to bind them. Begin to bind them. Say strong man assigned to weaken my faith. Catch fire. Some people may already be watching this. Some may have even done the first session and not come back for the second session. Listen, God cannot be mocked. The spirit of the living God is here. The same God that delivers is the same God that will keep on delivering. In the name of Jesus. Say I bind every strong man. Assigned by the evil powers of my father's house and mother's house against my life. I take authority over them. I take authority over the children of the devil. Say, let the backbone of the stubborn pursuer and strong man break. Let the backbone of the stubborn pursuer and strong man break. Let the backbone of the stubborn pursuer and strong man break in the name of Jesus. Let the backbone of the strong man break. Let the backbone of the strong man break. By the power in the blood of Jesus, let the power in the Bible suit to call the Santa. Bind every strong man delegated to hinder your focus in this hour of prayer. Bind every strong man that says that God will not answer you, that this platform is too small for him to answer you. Begin to bind them from the north, bind them from the south, bind them from the east and bind them from the west in the name of Jesus. Every strong man delegated to hinder your progress, bind them. Now, let's, uh, let's take authority over soul ties. A soul tie connects two or more people together. A soul tie can be goodly, it can be bad. David had a soul tie with Jonathan. His soul was knit to that of Jonathan. They looked out for each other and even their children looked out for each other. That is the kind of soul tie that we want. We want to be soul tied to our God. We don't want our God to turn away from us. Come on, say, my father, my father. Every soul tie between me and my grandparents, I take authority over it and I order that it breaks now in Jesus' name. Every, every, every soul tie between me and my father, between me and my mother, that is still keeping my life in the back rooms of life, oh God. Say, by the blood of Jesus, I scatter it, I scatter it, I scatter it. Every soul tie covenant between myself and former boyfriend, if you're a woman or girlfriend, if you're a man, take authority over that soul tie. That may be the hindrance that has stopped your prayer has been answered all this while. Take, 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 take find yourself, take, 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 take authority over that soul tie. Take authority over that soul tie covenant between you and demonic ministers. You know that pastor is bad. You know that his calling or her calling has come. 
yet you dug it. There are people that follow pastors who they know are using juju. There was a church once upon a time, I heard this story, that, um, the, uh, that there was a particular church, the, the general um, that, that, that was fighting, you know, and then the church divided. There was a church, you know, they, they was formed as a church. But subsequently, something happened, and then the church divided into two. On the one hand, you had one team. On the other hand, you had another team. Then when they, they were still preaching in the same church, such was the case of very stubborn hearts they had. They were still preaching in the same church, each one refusing to move for the other. You know? You, you, there's, stubbornness has no use. You know? Stubbornness has no use. Stubborn, every soul tie covenant that wants to yoke me to the wrong person. Because these two churches, they were yoked together. They did not want to budge. They did not want to move. Every soul tie you are involved with. Every soul tie assigned to arrest your destiny. Every soul tie assigned to, uh, assigned to scatter my destiny. I bind it. I command it. I, I paralyze it. I take authority over it. I take authority over it. I take authority over it. Say every soul tie covenant between me and any territorial spirit, break and lose your hold in Jesus' name. Any soul tie that speaks in my stead, break and lose your hold in Jesus' name. The only covenant assigned to speak for me is the blood of Jesus. That's it. Mention it. Say the only covenant assigned to speak for me is the blood of Jesus. The only covenant assigned to speak for me is the blood of Jesus. The only, the only soul tie assigned to assigned to work is the soul tie covenant that I have with my God. Hallelujah. Yolanda, good to see you, my darling. Welcome. Good, good to see you. Say every evil soul tie covenant between myself and my foundation, any evil covenant strengthening the, the attack from my foundation, say be broken by the blood of Jesus. Be broken by the instrumentality of the fire of the Holy Ghost. Be broken. Hallelujah. Every soul tie covenant between you and every harbalist break. Say every soul tie covenant between me and any harbalist break. Some of us here, some people were used to go to native doctors. They've used one Baba and Mama severally. The more you use them, the more you are tied to them. And that may be the thing that's stopping your prayer. Say, I take authority over any soul tie covenant that connects me to any harbalist located anywhere in the world. I take authority. Hey! Over the call of the initiates, I take authority. By the power and the blood of Jesus, I take authority. I take authority over every soul tie covenant. I take authority over every soul covenant between myself and night caterer. Some of you, when you sleep at night, you eat and eat and eat. And there's a covenant. Say, I take authority over any covenant associating me with night caterers in Jesus' name. Say, every spiritual soul tie, every soul tie connect between myself and the water spirit. Say, break and lose your hold. Come on. Every soul tie between me and water spirit, I take authority over you with the name of Jesus, by the blood of Jesus and the fire of the Holy Ghost. These three things speak against you. Huh? Yes, in the name of Jesus, that soul tie covenant is broken in the name of Jesus. That soul tie covenant is broken in the name of Jesus. That soul tie covenant is broken in the name of Jesus. Every soul tie covenant between me and serpentine spirit break and lose your hold. Say it. Open your mouth and say it. Sometimes some people are carrying serpentine spirits and they don't know. Say any covenant with any serpentine spirit anywhere. I command you to cast fire burnt to ashes. If you can speak in tongues, begin to speak in tongues in this hour. Break that soul time. Break that soul time. Break that soul time. Break that school time. Break that soul time. Break down school time. Break down school time. In the name of Jesus, any soul tie connecting me to any child of the devil, I break it. Any soul tie that is retrogressing my life backwards instead of bringing it forwards, Father, I scatter it. Say, I take authority over that covenant. I take authority over that covenant. That soul tie that fuses me to the spirit of that man, that fuses me to the spirit of that woman. Every soul tie covenant between myself and anybody from my past. Say, I break that covenant in Jesus' name. I break that covenant. I break that covenant. Every soul tie between me and the marine kingdom lose your hold. Oh God. 
Every soul tie between me and the marine kingdom lose your hold. Every soul tie between me and marine kingdoms lose your hold. Every soul tie covenant between myself and witchcraft spirit break and scatter. Oh, you are going. This is deliverance from deep works. Deliverance from deep works of Satan. The soul tie is one of the instrumentalities of the deep work of Satan. I want you to, to decree and declare. Say every soul tie covenant between myself and any witchcraft spirit. Say break and lose your hold in Jesus' name. Every soul tie covenant between me and the spirit of barrenness. Some people are already yoked, married to the spirit of barrenness. You are going to declare. Especially if you know you've gone for years. They keep telling you there's nothing wrong with you. There's a covenant in place. That's why you've not taken it. Say, blood of Jesus, separate me from any child of the devil. Separate me from any soul tie covenant between me and end and spirit of barrenness. Say, spirit of barrenness, I break away from you. Father, cut me away from that spirit. Father, remove me away from that spirit. Father, do your best because the enemy wants to do his worst. Say, break that soul tie covenant that exists. Break that soul tie covenant. Break it, break it, break it, break it in the name of Jesus. Every soul tie covenant that does not allow me to move forward, I take authority over you in the name of Jesus. Every soul tie covenant between me and the spirit of infirmity and sickness, I take authority over you. By the blood of Jesus, I take authority over you. In the name of Jesus, I take authority over you because it is written in Proverbs 18.10 that the name of the Lord is a strong tower, the righteous run into it and they are saved. My beloved begin to run into the place of God begin to run into the secret place of the most high begin to jump out of satanic roundabout chair begin to jump out of the enclave of Satan begin to jump out of the place of, of or begin out begin to jump out of any place where where, where 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 you have been arrested in the name of Jesus every soul tie covenant between myself and the spirit of insanity hey break and lose your hold and as you take that prayer, shake your head. We are taking authority over several spirits and entities right now. Say, Spirit of the Living God Divine, that association, that association, with that, with, 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 that association, that soul tie, scatter it, oh God. Say, Messiah, scatter it. Say, Jesus, scatter it. Merciful God, scatter it. Say, I engraft my soul to the Almighty. Say, God, I accept you as my Lord and Savior. I, my soul tie is with you, Christ Jesus, no other. Say, my soul is tied with your own, Christ Jesus. I want to be like you, O God. Make me, a make, me, make me like you, O God. Father, I want you to template yourself in me, O God. Father, I want you to template yourself in me, O God. Every cold soul tie covenant with the spirit of madness and insanity lose your hold. Every soul tie covenant between me and backwardness and emotion lose your hold. Every soul tie between me and the spirit of poverty break and lose your hold in Jesus' name. Break and lose your hold. Break and scatter. Every power, every power, every power that tampered with me, my glory the day I was born. That power, I curse that hand in the name of Jesus. I curse that power. I take authority over whatever was done to me when I was in my mother's womb. Say it. Say, I take authority. I take authority. I take authority. The more you confess it, the more you enjoy immunity by the blood of Jesus. The more you confess it, the more the spirit of the living God digs deep and delivers you from the deep work of Satan. Say, blood of Jesus, name of Jesus, fire of the Holy Ghost, deliver me from the deep work of Satan. Say, blood of Jesus, fire of the Holy Ghost, deliver me from the deep work of Satan. Say, deliver me from the deep work of Satan, oh God, deliver me from the deep work of Satan. Deliver me from the deep work of Satan, my God, deliver me from the deep work of Satan. Say, by the instrumentality of the blood of Jesus, deliver me from the, de deliver, deliver me, deliver me from the children of the devil. Deliver me from the deep works of Satan, deliver me from the deep works of Satan. Say, my Father, my God, deliver me from the deep works of Satan. My Jesus, deliver me from the deep works of Satan. My Savior, deliver me from the web. Uh, deliver me, deliver me, deliver me in the name of Jesus. Deliver me from the deep works of Satan, O oh God. Deliver me from the deep works of Satan. Any deep work of Satan waiting for you to make a mistake and to accuse you. God, you are delivered from that deep work of Satan in the name of Jesus. Say, I take authority over the deep works of Satan. I take authority over every deep work of Satan that the devil wants to use to confuse me. Say, I reject confusion. Hallelujah. I reject confusion. A closed mouth is a closed destiny. 
A closed mouth is an arrested destiny. A closed mouth is 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 is, is victory. No, a closed mouth is not is not victory. A closed mouth is empty life, a life of no favor. Say I reject it in Jesus' name. We are now going to do deliverance on the deep works of Satan. Deliverance on the deep works of Satan. We are going to take authority over the deep works of Satan. Hallelujah. Is somebody with me here? We are going to take authority over the deep works of Satan. We are going to take authority over the deep works of Satan. Deep works of Satan, no matter how secretive and hidden they are, Almighty God can reveal them and, 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 and destroy them. Say, my Father, in this eight watches for today, Saturday, the 15th of April, say, my Father, my God, reveal to me the deep works of Satan in my life. Show me the secret. Show me the secret. Show me where they have. Well, show me the secret. Show me where they are attacking me from. My, my God, show me the secret. Hey, show me the secret. Oh, Jesus, show me the secret of the deep box of Satan in my life. Show me the secret of the deep box of Satan. Hallelujah. Show me the secret of the deep box of Satan in Jesus' name. That Satan cannot hide anymore. Ah, say every satanic agent that has worked against my life from the cemetery. Say die in the name of Jesus. A lot of people are alive but they are dead because their pictures, their clothing, something pertaining to them has been buried in the grave. Say every deep work of Satan that has been done against my life in the waters. Say be exhumed by the fire of the Holy Ghost. Be exhumed by the fire of the Holy Ghost. Can hear the center. Be exhumed by the fire of the Holy Ghost in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Say every deep work of Satan affecting my blood, die in the name of Jesus. Every deep work of Satan affecting my blood, die in the name of Jesus. Every deep work of Satan affecting my destiny, die in the name of Jesus. Every deep work of Satan affecting my career, die in the name of Jesus. Every deep work of Satan spoken against me, die in the name of Jesus. Muala kielebo sotanta. It is time to be delivered from the deep work of Satan. The next few minutes are going to see us dedicate those to, to that prayer point. Say every deep work of Satan carried out against my life through my blood. Sometimes household witchcraft can be so wicked they have access to your blood. You are going to specifically ask for God to deliver you from the uh, uh, to deliver. You from the deep work of Satan carried out in your blood in Jesus' name. Say power, any power from the department of the waters that has carried out deep work of Satan in my life. Say die in the name of Jesus. Any power resident in any body of water, whether it's a container of water, whether it's a lake, whether it's an ocean, whether it's a river. Every power, every power, every power. Say, dear my father, my God. Say, dear as you speak in tongues, you are being delivered from the deep box of Satan. Come on. As you speak in tongues, you are being delivered from the deep box of Satan. As you speak in tongues, you, be, you are beginning to be defined in Jesus' name. Hey, Allah, say the root of my problem that is deep and is hidden to, uh, from me. Say be exposed over this few hours. The root of my problem that is so deep that is hidden to me. Say, God, shine your brilliant light on it. In the name of Jesus, shine your brilliant light on it. Shine your brilliant light on it. Shine your brilliant light. No, nothing is permitted to hide from you anymore. Nothing is permitted to hide from you anymore. In the name of Jesus, amen. Say every problem arising from evil prayers from the mountain, die. Every deep work of Satan arising from any evil prayer anybody took to any mountain to pray against me, die. Say, I uproot the deep works of Satan. I uproot the deep work of Satan. Begin to bless God because this deep, the, the deep work of deliverance has been done through you. We are going to carry it onward, certainly, when we come back. In the name of Jesus, we are going to carry it onward. Now, bless God for what he has done. 
Bless God for what he has done. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. You chose to run into it and you are safe. Your portion is secured in the name of Jesus. God has made an open show of principalities and powers that want to make an open show of you according to the book of Colossians 2.15. Bless God. Bless God. Bless God. Bless God. Thank the Lord, all ye people. Bless the Lord, all ye people. Thank the Lord, O ye people. Our God has done us well. He has uprooted. He has uprooted. He has uprooted. There are five more sessions. I encourage you with everything inside of me. I say, come, Holy Spirit, come. Said, I have destroyed the camp of the oppressor by the instrumentality of the Holy Ghost fire. Say, God, I bless you. Say, I have pursued my spiritual pursuers. I have overtaken them and I have destroyed them through the mercy of the blood of Jesus. Say, Jehovah, I thank you. Say, Father, I every warfare in the heavens and on earth and in the seas. Let the warfare of God pursue them and eliminate them. Say, weapons of warfare from on high. Pursue, pursue, pursue any spiritual, pursue any stubborn enemy. Pursue any stubborn enemy that refuses to give up. Pursue that short man devil. Pursue that devil. Pursue that devil. Pursue that demon. Oh God. Spirit of the living God, cause an excavation. Father, in the name of Jesus, I bring myself before you, oh God. I, Sandra, have done what you wanted me to do. Glorify yourself in me. Glorify yourself in me, oh God. Have your way, Holy Spirit. I thank you. I bless you for this session. I thank you that I'm catapulted above my enemies. I thank you because frustration is defeated. I thank you because disappointment is no more. Stagnation is no more. I thank you because my spiritual senses are heightened. I thank you, oh God. Let the name of Jesus Christ enforce power to change hands from the hands of wickedness into my hands. Power has changed hands. Begin to receive it in Jesus' name. Be assured of the fact that this is not an empty exercise. You asked and God gave. You sought, God gave. You knocked and the door was open. For the love of the Lord has no end. Father, we bless you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. It is well. It is well. That which you have allowed us to do today, we don't take it for granted. Say, I seal my deliverance. I seal this session with the blood of Jesus. I seal it. I seal it. I seal it. I seal it. I hide this session and the results of the previous three sessions inside the pool of the blood of Jesus. I hide it. I hide I hide this session inside the pool of the blood of Jesus. Hallelujah. I receive the empowerment to carry on. We are coming back again at 9 p.m. UK time. That's in two hours time. The time now is UK 7 a.m. We have taken authority by the next time we come back we are going to be asking the blood of Jesus to flood our foundation we are going to be dealing with our foundation me I hope you are ready because the, you are going to pray prayer points you've never prayed in your life God will do it God will do it the deep work of Satan resident in your foundation there will be an excavation God will do it 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 God will do it. 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 I bless you, oh Jesus, for what I've received from your table today. Celebrate him. Express your gratitude. Express your gratitude. Express your gratitude. Express your gratitude. As you raise your oil up, that's it. As you raise your oil up, that's it. Say, Spirit of the living God, continue to breathe into my oil. God bless you. Thank you so much for reminding me. Thank you, Jennifer. Thank you so much. You're doing a fantastic job. Hey, God will police your life. God will police your life and make sure that which you're supposed to do at every venture and juncture, you do it. Raise your oil up as we sing. May let the power of the Lord come down. Amen. Let the power of the Lord come down. In Jesus' name, let the power of the Lord from heaven come down. Let the power of the Lord come down. Come down. Let the fire of the Lord come down. Amen. Let the fire of the Lord enter this oil. In Jesus' name, let the fire 
of the Lord from heaven come down let the fire of the Lord come down hey let the anointing of the Lord come down hallelujah let the anointing of the Lord come down in Jesus name let the anointing of the Lord from heaven come down let the anointing of the Lord come down say let the anointing from God come down let the fire from God come down let the anointing of God come down let the fire of God come down let the deliverance fire of God come down let the fire of God come down let the power of God come down I will always love to praise your name amen I will always love to praise your name amen I will always love to praise your name on I I will love to praise your name on I let the fire of God enter into this oil. Let the hand of God stir this oil. That man at the pool of Bethsaida that said he was waiting every day for 38 years for the angel to come. The angel comes, stirs the water and goes away. Let there be a stirring right now. And raise your bottles of oil straight to heaven. Let there be, let there, let there be a stirring right now. Spirit of the living God, begin to stir, 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 begin to stir. Pour down your sanctifying oil into this bottle, O God. Pour out the Holy Ghost oil into this bottle, O God. Father, I beseech you, I beseech you, I beseech you. He at an tan, the lady can tell you. Oh, yeah, yes, at the Acatelia. He broke a dodo, he broke a dodo, he broke a dodo, he broke a dodo, he broke a dodo. Let the fire fall. Let this oil be energized. 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 Let it speak healing to whoever uses it for healing. Let this oil be energized. Let it begin to turn into children for those looking for children. Let it begin to be energized. For those who are still waiting to discover the bone of their bone and flesh of their flesh, at the end of today's watches, by the time you use this oil, you will wear a new face. Give God the glory because the fire of God has entered this oil. The deliverance of God has entered this oil. The best of God has entered this oil. In Jesus' name, amen. Seal the bottle as we now leave to come back in two hours' time to carry on. By the time we come back at 9 a.m., we are dealing with our foundation, pure and simple. We are dealing with our foundation, pure and simple. Hallelujah. Begin to cover yourself with the blood of Jesus. Begin to cover every single prayer point you have raised tonight with the blood of Jesus. Begin to cover yourself with the blood of Jesus. Begin to cover yourself with the blood of Jesus. Begin to cover the answers to your prayers with the blood of Jesus. Begin to cover the answers to your prayers with the blood of Jesus. Begin to cover the answers to your prayers with the blood of Jesus. Begin to cover the answers to your prayer with the blood of Jesus. Begin to cover the answers to your prayer in the blood of Jesus. Say, God, I thank you for what you have done. I thank you, God, I bless you. I give you glory that's not like you. Thank you, Jesus. The grace, everybody, let's go. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be and abide with us now and forevermore. In Jesus' name, amen. For surely... God's goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Hallelujah. If you are going to sleep now, you will, see, you will see God. You will have that dream. You will have encounters <clears throat> after the kind of prayers you have prayed. The first one, we thank God. Second instance, we pray for forgiveness. The third instance, we've just finished it with and we took authority took authority over the waters, authority over the earth, authority, authority over nature. And God, 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 our Lord, he, he, he has shown himself mighty, shown himself strong. 
Bless the living Jesus who has allowed today to come to fruition. Bless the Lord who has allowed you to join this prayer watch. Bless God who has given me the strength to carry on. Bless God who has poured grace upon my lips. Bless God who has allowed me the opportunity to serve him in this capacity. I give God the glory. I give God praise. I give him adoration. I thank you, Jesus. My God, you are too much. My God, you are too much. Receive all the glory, receive all the praise. In Jesus' name, amen. So, I will see you in two hours. Carry on fire. If your spirit man is awake, to mean that you want to carry on firing prayers, I say carry on. And God will see you through. Hallelujah. God will see you through. Hallelujah. God will bless you for me in the name of Jesus. So my beloved, I will see you later. To the glory of God, to the shame of the devil. God bless you immensely. So bye-bye for now. And um, God bless. Thank you.